Distinguished Secretary General, Excellencies and Delegates, ladies and gentlemen, it's my great honor and privilege to address you at this important ITU event. Today, telecommunications are shaping the quality of our lives. Uh, as a minister, I'm happy to say that we are fostering in, uh, connectivity in Slovenia. We advocate for universal, safe, inclusive and affordable access to the Internet for all. In Slovenia, we are giving particular attention to data, to open data that ensure accessibility, transparency and trust in government, as well as economic benefits for businesses by creating new ser services, products and business opportunities. Slovenia is very successful in the field of public sector open data and is the first in the European Union by data maturity. Digital transformation is successful only when all members of the society are equally included and when no one is left behind at the global level. My country is particularly concerned about the gender, rural, urban and age digital divide. Women, although representing half of the world population, are significantly underrepresented in almost all areas of ICT education, employment, entrepreneurship and leadership. Empowering women with digital skills enables them to fully and meaningfully participate in democracy, education and business in the digital society. As a woman in technology myself, I'm particularly interested in mentorship and peer-to-peer -peer encouragement, and I would like to applaud to the ITU's initiatives in this regard, including Network of Women. Digitally empowered generation equality was at the center of the ITU Regional for, uh, for Europe, on meaningful connectivity that Slovenia co-hosted last year. As the world marks the UN decade of healthy aging, I strongly welcome the World Summit on Information Society Forum 2022, a special track on ICTs and older persons. When it comes to safety and security, Slovenia believes in a reasonable, human rights-based approach to development, deployment and use of digital technologies. By applying legal and ethical frameworks, we must make sure that digital technologies can further consolidate legitimate democratic processes, not infringe them. Multi-stakeholder international efforts are needed to raise awareness and empower everyone, especially children, about online risks and prevent and counter cyberbullying and hate speech online. Finally, I would like to tackle the twinning of green and digital transformations of our societies. I believe they go hand in hand. Please let me share an excellent example from my hometown, Maribor, with you. A new data center constructed from the river sediments will be built on an island in the middle of River Drava. The flow of the water will be used for the cooling of the data center and the waste heat energy will heat residential buildings in the surroundings. Ladies and gentlemen, as Slovenia celebrates 30th anniversary of its membership in the ITU this year, we have come a long way to connect our citizens and to develop a resilient and inclusive ICT ecosystem. We stand ready to share our knowledge and best practices to bridge the digital divide in the framework of ITU. I would like to reference once more to Mr. Trajan Vuja's quote shared by Minister, uh, Minister Buduja yesterday. We work not for our own glory, but the glory of the humankind. Thank you.